Well, now to the latest development in the Chester City story. You'll remember the club is facing closure with the debts of half a million pounds. Well, closure's been fought off for another 10 days, at least, to give a buyer or buyers time to come forward. Saturday's game against Swansea City, which was widely billed as City's last, meant a bumper crowd turned out after fans organised a show of strength. They tried to get at least 3,000 people there. In fact, it was nearly 4,000. And among the crowd, a face familiar to many of us. Our very own Lucy Meacock. I'm sure she enjoyed the game. It was a one-all draw, but let's catch up now with the rest of the action in the Nationwide League. This is the end. Beautiful friend. On Saturday, fans arrived expecting it to be the end, and it turned out to be an emotional afternoon. Many believe they were witnessing history unravelling before them as Chester City prepared to take on Swansea in what had been billed as their last ever game. Instead, Chester City lived to fight another day, despite being taken to the High Court in Manchester to face a winding up order this morning. The hearing was adjourned and the club was given a 7-10 to 10 day stay of execution. The court has allowed more time to put together a rescue package, or at least find a buyer. I don't think administration will be the end of the world. Uh, it'll be tough going, but there's plenty of clubs that have gone into administration and come out a lot stronger. Um, now, if a buyer does come in, obviously that is uh, a better scenario. That is somebody in, somebody we can identify. Uh, whereas the, you know, the uh, the administrators could come in, and it it could be in administration for months and months. Feelings ran high on Saturday, and there was a sit-down protest at full time. Fans refused to go until the players came out what many felt would be a final farewell. Desperately in need of some stranger. 